Hello, I'm Darcy. And I'm Brian. And we are the Stay at Home Gamers. And tonight, we are going to talk a little bit about how we got into gaming. So we are going to go way back and talk a little bit about the first board games, the first video games that we played, how old we were, because it started somewhere. I remember. Somewhere in there. <laughs> it started somewhere. Do you remember your first board game that you ever played? It's probably Candyland or something like that. I don't remember my first board game. Specifically, no. well, that's why a tough not? one. No. <laughs> there were always board games in the house. I remember that. In the basement. What, what are some of the ones that you used to play when you were? We had Monopoly. It was all the standard Candyland, shoots and ladders. There was just one that we played all the time with my parents. It was like a fishing game. I don't know. It was like a big lake, and hmm. you had to fish. I don't know. My mom or my brother would know what it was, but um, some pizza okay. one. I remember like collecting like pepperoni and. Doesn't she still have that? Probably still has that. I'm pretty sure she's played that with the kids. For Yahtzee. Like... I remember Yahtzee. Yeah. I remember learning cribbage a little bit. But it's family reunions. Um, you know, war. All those kind of games. But, yeah. No. Yeah, the was Roads and Rails. Roads and Rails was one that you played. Bonkers. That was later on. I was a little older now. But... So, a lot of the mm -hmm. childhood it's... classics. Yeah, classics. So, how often... Cooties. Cooties. Oh, my gosh. I had cooties, but I... No, <laughs> I didn't have cooties. <laughs> all the girls had cooties. <laughs> I had the game cooties, but I never actually played it as the game. I only have it, too, and I think she just played with it. I just and, played with the and, pieces. Yeah, they're all missing. And I just... Yeah, I mm -hmm. just put it together and just played with them. It's a marble one, too. Um, I, saw, I swear I saw it recently. It was like, you had to get this marble up through like a maze of, like... You know, like the, the sticks you had to pull apart so it would move without falling oh, through the way. This yeah. whole, like, I don't remember how she did it. Remember that one. We had this game. I'm trying, that I one, Rally? That was a game? I don't know. I don't even know what it was called, but it was like, it was huge. And we always kept it, like, in our front closet. And it it wasn't pinball, but it was, it was this long board, and you had, like, a ball, and there was, like, rubber bands. And, like, there were, I don't know. Hmm. Like I can't wooden, remember what like, it was. Like analog pinball? Kind of. And it was something that I, again, played by myself the fish a lot. One, the fish one? Or the... Um, go, gone Fishing? I don't know. I had that one, too. So, you had that one with the phone? Mall one or whatever? You know what? I didn't have that one, but I had uh, Girl Talk. That's it. And there's a dancing there was one? A, I had the date one where like you had to play the cassette tape. Mm -hmm. Do you know what that is? <laughs> so like, you would have to put... There would be like a sort of like a card with the girl and the guy, and you'd have to put it into the player, and then it would play like a recorded like phone conversation that the boy and girl are having, mm. and you'd have to see if it turned out into a date or not. Oh, it's kind of creepy, but okay. It was. It was better than putting <laughs> the zits on your face with the little red stickers. <laughs> but I had the dancing one too. I yeah, had no, one. But that was like later, later on, like. Very, very early. I have super early memories of playing Connect Four and Hi Ho Cherio. My dad started teaching me chess pretty early on. I think I played a little bit of chess early on. And then some of the more board game type ones, I definitely played Sorry and Trouble, Trouble and that kind of stuff. I remember we had Clue. I never played Clue much. I remember that very much. Payday, which I think I still Trigger have. Pursuit, I, think we have. I think I might still have Payday. Payday, my parents had I Payday. I don't think I have all the pieces. They came out again. They were three released in. Yeah, they did. And, but some of the, like, more board game ones. Millborns. Remember that one we saw at Nexus? And I said, oh, that's yes. one was like a card game with, like, cars and gas. That's supposed to be really fun, I guess, but I never actually played it. I just played with the cards. So. Yeah, there was a lot of games that I just sort of made up my own rules too and I didn't really necessarily play. There was those rails. I don't think I ever played that. Like as a game? I just made just the matched them. Yeah. So, I mean, I s had entertained myself a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I, I remember telling you about this. that my, my dad used to play this game with me. It was like Robot Man and Friends or something. It was based off of a cartoon. It was the now I look back and I'm like, it, it was the most boring game. Like, it was more boring than Candyland, but it was the same concept where you were a robot and you had a color that you had to follow on. Like, you were on the green track or whatever. And so you'd have to draw the cards. And if you drew your color, you could move a spot. Otherwise, you couldn't. And then you'd have to go up the board and then back down the board. 
he played that with me so many times and I don't know how he didn't go insane <laughs> <laughs> because I don't think I could handle playing that game these days. And I then there was I also remember Risk. I mean I don't I remember playing it and my dad teaching me it. I haven't, yeah. played, I haven't played it in twenty years anyway, but I actually have never it's played still Risk. A big, it's still a, a fun game. I mean they have Risk Legacy. They made the same guy as all the pandemic legacy and all that stuff, so like I'm familiar with Risk, but I've never actually played it. Yeah, so I mean it's I remember that one. And then I wanna say it was called like Dungeons and Dragons, but it wasn't Dungeons and Dragons role playing. There was like a cart like a Saturday morning cartoon. It mm-hmm. was like Dungeon I think it was called Dungeons and Dragons. It's possible. And the board game that I had was like themed, like based off of that. It was like the cartoon and then you it was the same kind of thing where you draw cards and you move and whatever. But I played that a ton too. But the Robot Man and Friends, I ended up selling it on eBay. Oh, recently, like when we were together? Like in college. I feel like you did a bunch of and eBay And it stuff. was amazing how much it sold for because someone was collecting all that stuff. I've seen that's how eBay works when you time it right. And I had, oh, like the Babysitter's Club game mm, and like 90210 trivia game. But Obviously. New Kids on the Block. I don't think I had a New Kids on the Block game. Surprising. They have one? <laughs> Not Probably. But... I, I didn't play a whole lot of, like, strategy games no, when I was little. Simple, yeah. Other than chess. I mean, chess is strategy. And Othello. I really like that. And backgammon. <laughs> Which is not necessarily strategy, really. My grandparents have what, the little... But, it, was like, it was like a cross. The little, you hopped over one to get rid of the other one. You tried to get rid of all of them up on the board. Uh, hopping over. I mean, it was, you it was hop over them? Yeah, and you'd take that one off and you had to try to get rid of them as many as you could. But, you know, it's based on, I feel like it's based on a board game or a board game is based off of that, but they had it in there, in the room over there. It was a more board game, it was like a little kid's time. I definitely remember, like, way back to, like, when I was four or five, mm-hmm. like, starting to play games. That's oh, yeah. probably when I started, like, Connect Four and stuff. That's yeah, pretty young. But that's also, like, the same time I started video gaming. Yeah, I was, uh, well, no, I don't know when I started, but I started on our Texas Instrument TI-4099-4A computer with the cartridges yeah, yeah. it's probably three or four I remember that that was my first gaming or Commodore 64 those are kind of the same time period yeah yeah we had an Atari when I was little when I was like four four or five Eight, five probably came out yeah. and we had an Atari we had all the classic games and we had you know we couldn't just keep we couldn't just couldn't play with the just the basic joysticks. We also had, like, the paddles and, like, other mm. things that you add on. Like, the paddle, like, there was the, like, you twist the knob, and it made it easier, like, with Pong. Oh, yeah. And then there was some, like, circus one. <laughs> like, flying circus or something like, like that. And then we did have E.T., which Buy with like the worst today. game ever. <laughs> and just, like, all the, cl- you know, the classic yeah. Atari games. Um, uh... Now I'm blanking on the name. I want adventure. To like junk, pitfall. Pitfall. You're like in a jungle mm-hmm. and stuff. And Frogger. Yeah. Pac-Man. Oh yeah, of course. And Crystal, Crystal Cav, Crystal Caverns or Crystal Castle? I think it's Crystal Caverns. That was the one I played with the the trackball. Mm-hmm. Like we had a tra- trackball. <laughs> we had a trackball for our Atari. And that was I played that one with it. Yeah, I remember Hunt the Wumpus. I remember Space Invaders. It was just called TI Invaders, but it was Space Invaders. I remember um, just like a Shapes one. It's been for kids. But I remember some. And I also used to also build a program on that thing, so I remember programming it. Basic. Commerce 64, I don't remember any games. Maybe a racing one? I don't know. Face Maker sounds familiar. That's what it was. Very simple games. Don't remember saving my games on a cassette tape. That's way don't back. Don't do that anymore. <laughs> That's way back. The kids. No. That would blow their minds mm-hmm. if we had <laughs> pull out a cassette tape. You remember tape where it was and write down where it was so you can know where to load it. And, you know. They're so spoiled with their auto saving. I know. So am I. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I mean, so we played Mega Man last time and I was like, I got rid of the boss and I died. And I'm like, well, gotta start over again. <laughs> I was and like, they, this is horrible. They just they couldn't believe that like, you had to start all over. I'm like, that's how it was when. I mean, we had a Nintendo. The original yeah, I Nintendo that. Yeah. and that was the first console we had. Yeah, you know, Super Mario Brothers. You didn't get to no, save if you didn't beat your the game, progress. And it was over. Yeah. <laughs> or a power outage, or your brother turned it off on you, and you got to start over. Yes. Zelda was the first one to have a save game. Um, 
Because other games had like codes, like Mega Man, you put a code in once you got to a certain point, and you yeah. put it back in. I, well, not the right, not the first like Super Mario Brothers, but was it like six? When they started having like the different worlds or whatever, so it did kind of save at least where you unlocked. Three? Oh, three had the. Was it three? Three had the one, the one with the, the tail. Down. Yeah, the, where you had the two tail was down. really weird. It was like nothing like anything. I was trying to remember. I'm like I six think that doesn't may sound have right. Saved, but three for sure saved. It was three. It was Zelda like, was the first game I remember saving anything on. So he had three. He had three save slots. Because that was sort of like, yeah, awesome. Yeah, we played <laughs> a lot. Save your lot of, and that's when the you know video store opened down the street to really go there and get games and stuff. So. And then somewhere in there, when I was like second grade ish, that was probably like eighty eight ish. For what? Um, when we got our first, like, PC. Well, yeah, I mean, you guys were early. I know ours was, like, 90, our early candy. 90s. Early 90s, our we candy. got the candy sensation. Yeah. So I used to play, like, the Sierra Adventure Sierra games. Sierra games. That was, oh, I opened up all kinds of game options. Doom, this one. Yes, like, seventh guest, yes. So I remember playing that. That one had a special setting just for, what this is, just for Tandy Sensation. So I had, like, better music and all kinds of stuff. But, yeah, <laughs> I remember that. So the strategy guide. We just played that last year, and it was still difficult. We didn't even finish it. No, we should finish going this year. We it's should. It's still I mean, the this puzzles is just, this are is still just the, tough. The strategy guide. The the puzzles are still tough on that uh-huh. one. The yeah. graphics. Not horrible, actually. For, you know, for no, the the live it's motion. not. I didn't feel as spooky when I played <laughs> it when I was a kid. I was it's like, really scary. Oh, yeah. It was like kind of scary. It's creepy now. Like, oh. Now it's like, oh, this is kind of weird. But the puzzles are hard. Even Doom was creepy at the time. Yes. It was like, it was hilarious. And it's, yeah. <laughs> like, but the adventure games I really liked. Mm, and, I love those. I mean, there was a lot of reading back Sim then. Sim games. I played a lot of Sim ones. Sim farm and some life and some yeah city and whatever else was back then I tried but, to do all kinds of sim stuff so i played like like hero quest and space quest um, king's quest space quest like all of those space quest. yes we played police quest leisure suit larry Just not appropriate for children not really for kids <laughs> But back then, with those games, there was so much reading involved, and in the there was just a lot of text, so that you you know knew what was going on in the game and things like that, because it didn't have like a voiceover or any of that kind of stuff. Type in. And you had to type the commands, and if you didn't type it correctly, you didn't advance. Like mm. if you didn't yeah. type, like look at the desk, yeah. put the note yeah. on the whatever. Like you actually had to like type it out, and it had to be. I, I don't think I played those until later. It was a flashback thing, but I think I started with the click ones. Yeah. The first change the icon. I think it was like then, Heroes Quest like six or something like that. I don't it think was a like, quest at all. I played the, King's it, Quest. Or maybe it was King, King's Quest. I'm sorry. I remember playing five. That was the one I remember the most. That one had clicking. Okay, so then maybe it was five. Whatever the first one was that had clicking, like it was like mind blowing after all the typing that I had done. But then I was getting frustrated because it was like I wanted to investigate something and it wouldn't let me click on it. And I'm like, oh, if I could just type what I want to do <laughs> right now. Know. But it was just sort of how it was before because you'd like observe. Yeah, the adventure games were going to come back. Those were some of my favorite. I always really like story driven games. Mm-hmm. And that's still true today. Like I really enjoy story driven yeah, games. Telltale did a lot of those. Rest in peace, Telltale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did a lot of those kind of games. And so even though I've always done a lot of like card games and board games, I mean, war was obviously something that I played as a kid too with card games, especially like when we were camping or whatever, because it was super easy to do. Yeah. Crazy eights, all those kinds of ones. Um, but yeah, I didn't really do much in terms of strategy games. No, I didn't get into the big strategy games until I was older. Yeah. When they started coming out on the computer and they can do a yeah. lot more of that stuff, you know. Like it's a board game times a hundred because it's just so much, mm-hmm. so many moving parts that it takes care of it for you. Yeah. Right, it does all the math for you, and mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> it makes sure you don't like miss rules yeah, that exactly. you should do. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. It doesn't let you make big mistakes like that. Yeah, I got into those more. I actually did the post about like sort of mm-hmm. third line between. Yeah, between board games and video games. Yeah, I mean, I I love that we have gotten so into strategy games and stuff now because 
I mean, we've always done gaming. We've always gamed together. We did a lot more video gaming. Mm-hmm. I'd say prior to Warcraft the was my like gateway to more. I would call it a strategy game, but more you know more RPG kind yeah, of stuff. style games because I, mean, I played mostly FPS games before that. I RPG was wasn't like I didn't play any of the, the the RTS Warcraft games. I didn't really that st- I'm still not really into that style, but that got me into more you know geeky nerdy games I guess at the time <laughs> yeah and then the Skyrims well, and all that stuff and like when we played Dragon Age that was yeah that was, that was very different than the typical style that I had been playing up till then mm-hmm. so yeah before was, that was like this oh sandbox well, I still enjoy sandbox games with like GTA and all that mm-hmm. PlayStation stuff that was sports games and yeah, got more into strategy and stuff like that now and I know that part of why we didn't really necessarily play as many strategy games when we were kids is because there just weren't as many options. No, your D&D was about your only option. Right. Yeah. And I didn't really know anyone. There was one I played with my D&D. friend in middle school. It was like, it was like a board. And it was like this one board and you kind of could build the, ca- or build like the castle and you can go through it, you know, and fight monsters. It was sort of like a really minor hero something. God, I actually remember that. It was Hero Quest. It was something like that. It was very... But it was like a simple, dumb version, but you could kind of change it every time you played it. Yes, I think it's by, um, I I have not played it. I've heard about it. It's not the same as the Hero, Hero's Quest video game. No. But it's either, I think it is Hero Quest. Okay. And it's by, um, Gameworks or okay. Game Workshop. Uh-huh. I should, like, I should look as I, yeah, I remember that I think one. there's like minifigs and like yeah, I there, think there's there were a few it there's wasn't, miniatures yeah I wasn't very involved and but stuff but I it was like a light version of that um I have heard about it but I have I hadn't played it I also didn't have many friends that were into like the RPG games like I didn't not really, digital RPG games like D&D like, I had no, no one yeah that. I didn't really either this is the first friend I had that had something like that and I was like it's really fun so. I mean as it was a lot of my friends Back then, a lot of my friends didn't have even, like, a computer at home. No. Or even video game consoles. Like, I had a lot of, I had a lot of people that would come over to play when I had the Sega Genesis. Mm-hmm. Like, I had friends coming over all the time because I was, like, the, one of the few... I remember having to rent the Super Nintendo a couple of times before out I Out of the people that it. I hung out. I remember buying the Super Nintendo on Layaway. On Layaway. And at Walmart, when we were kids, you put it out there and, you, you know, you could pay for it every so yeah. often. Remember that? I remember like when um, when NBA Jam came out, mm-hmm. and it was like this big deal because I'm like, I just got this new game, you know, and so a lot Our of people were like, like that. I want to come over and play it because you know, there's still a lot of people still were not willing to drop sixty seventy bucks on a brand new game, not the way that people do now. I think it was was it that much back then. Yeah, I that. I'm pretty sure it was still it was like, like forty or something. But yeah, well, probably right. It's probably more expensive back then. <laughs> Or it felt. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I feel like it was... Because we bought it, like, that one, like, brand new. All my games were not brand new. But I feel like gaming was still not as... It was easier to rent stuff back then. You can't really rent a Steam game. I mean, you can. You play it for two hours. If you don't like it, you can return it. But it's not the same. But it just wasn't as common, you know, people that I knew and hung Mm -hmm. out with and stuff. It just wasn't as common for everyone else to have video games or to play video games. Really, yeah. I was one of the few girls. Girl. I was going to say, you're also a girl. It was mostly guys that came over to hang out <laughs> to play. <laughs> there, in a, like when I was in computer club, like I was. You know, it was I was in computer club, the and there were no girl. girls. <laughs> Our teachers were for female, but there were no girls in the class. But, but yeah, just gaming wasn't as mainstream or as prevalent or whatever at that time. Mm-hmm. Even the more classic games, it felt like not a lot of people. Like, I just didn't know as many people that were playing games a lot. No. Or they only had, like, one or two, maybe, if they yeah, did they have board games. games. Yeah, board yeah board games, yeah. Yeah, I remember playing lots of board games with my friends. I mean, they come over, and I don't remember. Maybe, maybe we did, I don't know. Just... And then I never really knew anyone that was playing d and I had no, no one. I, like, I, was, I was aware of that until I was older, you know. I think I heard about it, but I just didn't really know what it was, really. Yeah, probably... No, I wish I back. had known yeah, we should more been. about it. Family wasn't really into that then. kind of stuff. So, these guys are lucky because 
<laughs> there are so many more options for them you know, now. They're playing, you know, like, son's an expert at controllers and stuff already, and mice, and he's five, you know, so. Yeah, like, they, there's so many more options with board games and video games that they can play. Yep. And that we can play together as a family. Because even back then, when I was playing games... It's golden era of gaming. With my... <laughs> right? <laughs> but even, like, when I was playing games with my parents, I mean, board games were, were pretty easy for us to play together. But if I was playing a video game with them, it would pretty much just only you, be two-player. You spin kicking against them. The foot sweeps. <laughs> Mortal Kombat, foot yeah, sweeps. Yeah, my parents didn't play the video games at all. I don't remember ever my parents playing it. So. I had brothers. You know, it's I didn't. I didn't have, like, s- siblings living with me, so. Yeah. I, I, I'm glad that they played as many video games as they did with me, and that they let me play mm-hmm. computer games and stuff. I mean, they were playing yeah. stuff, too, but it was very, like, different. It was very mm-hmm. unusual back then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Parents, older people didn't play video games or that stuff back then. Yeah. Even board games was probably not seen as, you know, unless you're with their kids kind of thing. Right. So... You know, it's kind of nice now when we can actually play a game. Well, we have to have enough controllers, but yeah, yeah, that we can pl- that, that we can play, like all four of us could play a video game together. Yep. And that we've got plenty of. I mean, they have more board game options. Couch too. co-op games now than they used to. For a while, yeah. it was like you had to be online no matter what. But now we can play at the you know a Switch. We can play the Switch all you know right there. Yeah. I mean, the four corner thing is it's not as bad as it was with the smaller TVs, but it's still like you know. Yeah. Right. But it's a nice option because back then it was like, or even really like, like a Steam to... game where you had to buy two copies of it. So yeah, you each have your own computer. It's like there's there's just a few more options, but they really luck out in having so many great strategy games and the cooperative games. Because mm-hmm. I really wish I would have had some of that stuff when I was a kid. It was like, well, I want to play a game. Well, I got this one or this one. Now it's like I got six hundred games to pick from, and it's too many. <laughs> it can be a little, a little overwhelming to decide on one. But it's worse having less choice. Than that. I like having more choice because there's more styles of games. Once you get past that whole like choice parallel, 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 paralysis, yeah, then you. Know, because which we're fine with now. We're like, yeah, let's play that. Is that I? There's like styles of games that I never really knew about until it's recently. like in the yeah in June. <laughs> <laughs> yes there's some that we didn't really know about until the summer but or we hadn't tried but there's just so many different styles of games and different game mechanics well, there's video games that i would i would i mocked for so long right i mean the truck driving one i talk about all the time where i mocked it for long i, I think it was on sale so i bought it and i'm like i played like so many hours in that game because it's relaxing and just like you know because it's like really a trucking simulator it's super they did a super good job on it <laughs> but even like the goat simulator one that the kids play with their frog amazing frog is like oh. i mean those don't make any there's no goal and they're it's stupid it's just but, sandbox but, but they yeah. have fun you know we would never buy it i mean the company that made it it was just totally unexpected that they made so much money it's so like it's so silly yeah. like it's over the top silly yeah. but it's there's no point i mean it's funny but i it's not something i can play for very long because i'm like okay i need i, I need a purpose <laughs> mm-hmm. I you see, even open world games where I get distracted and sidetracked, there's a purpose that puts me back on track. Sometimes. Right. There's still something. <laughs> even in Minecraft, there's a there's a point you can build something. Yeah. You know, in Goat Simulator, you just don't do anything. You just You're run just around and running hit around as a goat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doing strange. So as a things. kid, I would have loved that. I don't know if I would have necessarily. I mean, it's still hilarious, yeah. but I did a post a couple years ago. I tweeted it before this about my top ten gaming memories. And there was some of the stuff was in there and Minecraft I mentioned Minecraft at the end but like I said an 8 year old me would have been like in heaven I I, never left the house now Minecraft would have been great as a kid Mm -hmm. I was thinking you were still talking about Goat Simulator I would have have enjoyed it more than I would now (laughs) like I can't picture little Darcy being like oh yes Goat Simulator (laughs) but Minecraft would have been fun Mm -hmm. because yeah with the building aspect and stuff yeah it it was like Lego would have been yeah expensive (laughs) <laughs> right, and pieces everywhere and all that. And it's a little bit easier to take apart and redo and yep. and all that. But, yeah, it's it's kind of crazy thinking back just to how long 
we've been gaming and how much that's been just even when also life. when they look at the games that we played and like what is this it's like just looks like even like Mega Man was like that's it it's like now it's like photorealistic and everything it's like, right <laughs> this is all we had we loved it it was amazing right it was like pixelated and you couldn't even really see like people's faces because they weren't defined they were just like a little like I said, seven blob of came color out and I don't know what what's the pro what's the year on this specifically I mean it came out had to come out like ninety three or something like that. And that was amazing at the time. 93. So this is 20, 25 years ago that came out. And at the time, it was, blew my mind. It's still impressive at the time. It was. Just live it motion had, and stuff. It had music and actually had Talk, dialogue. And, and live motion video. Yeah, which was totally mm-hmm. new at that time. On one CD. On one CD, yes. So yeah, I mean, it's come from a long way. Just even like, I mean, Minecraft's a throwback, but still, in terms of itself, right. it still looks nice. You know? What is your mm-hmm. first game? Yeah. Let us know in the comments whether Board you're game or video game. whether you're watching right now live or if you're watching on replay. Let us know we'll what take a the non-scientific first non-scientific poll. <laughs> right. I was just curious. Like, what is the first game that you remember playing? Probably probably forgot something. I mean, I was a Nintendo guy. She was a Sega. So we had yeah, a different path I, too. Because I mean, we started out with the original and the Atari, Nintendo, and Atari but then. But then we went to Sega. That's and I went to N64, and then we got it so early on that it was like no games for it. So then I sold it and I bought a PlayStation, and that's when I broke off my Nintendo thing. And then now we got the Switch. That's the first Nintendo, well, beyond the 3DS. That's the first well, you, Nintendo I bought since then. Well, then we had pretty much since we Oh, we had the Wii, you're right. Yeah, but like pretty much since we've been together, we've had always pretty much had like two or three gaming systems. Yeah, so PS3 didn't buy the PS4. <laughs> and we had the GameCube. Yeah, the GameCube? I'm sorry, I guess I had more Nintendo's than I expected. <laughs> I remember, but yeah. But that was different because we were both working and we didn't have kids, so it was easier to buy mm-hmm. an Xbox and a PlayStation and Well, since else. the Wii, that was the last first one I bought. Yeah. So, now we have the Switch. But... So, so far behind on my Zelda games. Which I haven't played the new one yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for first memory. Board game or video game? Yeah, because we went all the way back mm-hmm. to like. You well, for me it was like four or that? five. <laughs> I don't know. Did you? What? That's my my Texas sure Instrument. I had to be three or four, because that was before Nintendo, and I was like eighty six or something. The Counter sixty four was in there somewhere. I don't know. It's probably yeah, eighty three, eighty four. So I guess. I mean, we faced. I think the Ti came out in eighty two. 81. I'm pretty sure because I'm ready. I don't know what my parents bought her. My mom's always been a little bit more higher in the tech stuff. I think that's why we got it. But yeah, so probably the early 80s, 83, 84. So yeah, we've, I mean, we've always mm-hmm. been gaming in some form or fashion. Yeah. So I know sometimes when people are thinking about with their kids and stuff, especially like video games, they're like, I don't know if how early is too early or when they even should do it. And like, we didn't even really. No, we just made sure the games were you know, easy for them to learn and not super violent or anything. Right. <laughs> Which but is it, you know, things like Minecraft or something. But it was like pretty that. much a given that they would be gaming. Yeah. Like, we just... I started a lot of those, some of those, like, Disney Junior and Nick Junior sites where they oh, yeah. flash games and stuff. Yeah. Them, yeah. Well, yeah, we definitely checked the content and mm-hmm. stuff. But no. it was never a question of, will we let them... No, no, they had phones <laughs> in the hand very early it was, on. It was pretty much... Yeah. Their eyes haven't burned yeah. out of their heads yet, so... <laughs> that they would be. Would be playing games. And then, of course, mixing in board games is mm-hmm. great, especially for the together time. Yep. So, it's nice having options. I like having options. Oh, definitely. And Just in my Steam library. <laughs> it's like, one of the things I really love when we play board games is because it's our together time. Mm-hmm. Though there are video games that we play together... But I really enjoy video games for my alone time. <laughs> like, my time just well, trying to yeah, do something exactly. on my own that isn't necessarily... Yeah, we also grew up in that time where you played games by yourself. Right. So now multiplayer games come along and go, I don't want to play that. I just want to play by myself. Whereas the kids are constantly like, are you going to play this game with yeah, me? Yeah, I'm going to group. I'm going to join this group and have people play with me. I'm like, oh, <laughs> and I'm never like what? Why me. are you playing with other people? <laughs> but Multiplayer is a nice option, but it's like I need to know everybody I'm playing with. So there are solo board games that I enjoy too, okay. but it's just yeah, always been part of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how long have you been playing? What's your your first memory or your favorite memory? Mm-hmm. 
And it's totally okay if you just started recently. Like, oh, totally fine. Definitely. <laughs> well, the fact that you started is great. Oh, yeah. And even, yeah, does, even if it's one of the classics, like we were talking about. Mm-hmm. Because everyone starts somewhere. And then as you learn about more game options, then you get to try new things. And then you kind of start going, okay, I really like this kind of game better than this kind of game. And it just leads all over the place. Yeah, my parents, it leads you to a shelf full of games. And my parents aren't playing games. I was trying to find that my dad asks for help on his Facebook games don't work or whatever. Like his famous friends. <laughs> and I found that funny because he never played games before now. Well, I remember playing remember. Scrabble and whatever. But I remember him playing Scrabble like when we first started dating. Oh, yeah, I'm saying, but like, he never did. But now he's playing like other ones, like City Built, like City. Oh yeah, like that. it's fine. Cause, uh, you know, he's ten years too late on the Facebook games, but still, no farm. But bills. I remember like when Words with Friends like first came out, like yeah. like I played that with. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like we played some of those. Yeah. Oh, I guess in, in thinking about like past games, I mean. Uh, another classic that's probably on a lot of people's lists of early memories would be like Trivial Pursuit. I mentioned that one. I think we played that a little bit. We seen National Geographic what my dad got from them. I remember we played like one time. I think. And I played. I, I used to like playing part cheesy too. <laughs> but some of those I feel like were a little bit more, a little bit more interesting, a little bit more. Strategic or abstract? Yeah, those are, yeah, those are more like versus brain, brain teaser games or brain versus puzzles. like Candyland. Yeah, Candyland has doesn't know thinking at all. No, just go here. I mean, that can be good for kids. Oh yeah, the colors and stuff. You know, once they get older, then they're just kind of boring, and they're they get bored when they get mad, and yeah, and they're like they don't understand. It's hard to lose. Yeah, you can't win on purpose or lose on purpose. It just happens. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. What Same with shoots and ladders. You have no control over it. Yeah. yeah. It's hard also to lose on purpose. Yeah. When you play Which, with them. <laughs> I mean, we don't like doing well, that if we can help it, but yeah, when. We made the canine one, was like, you get there at the end, like, we had this princess one's like, oh, look, she's fair first. She gets the party ready yeah, for everybody. Yeah, she's preparing the party. She's <laughs> waiting for you to show up. <laughs> so sometimes you just have to mm-hmm. change. I talk about the winning and losing, but I I really wish that I would have known or had more cooperative games available. Yeah, that wasn't a thing until recently, I think, more of them at least. Because mm-hmm. that's really made a big impact, especially as getting the kids more used to... I mean, there are games like that. Winning and losing I guess it was co-op and things like Solitaire, which you were playing against, you know. There weren't really any two-player ones like that. You know? No. So the whole, like, players versus the game. I'm yeah, surprised it came on a little lately. I mean, it's not like they had to invent something for that. It's just a different, just a different, different mechanic style, they have yeah. come up with. Yeah. But that definitely made a big difference playing with the kids as they were learning to get more used to losing and things like that. Just Yeah. It, does, it softens the blow. We and, talked all about this in that chat, didn't we? Oh, yeah. We had <laughs> more that we talked about with how to coach kids in gaming so we have video that you can watch on that as well as I think just about everything that we've talked about we've had some other related conversation but yeah I just thought it would be good to kind of go dig out the cobwebs to get back there yeah like just travel down memory lane a little bit because if you want to see us play any of those games we'll see what we can do (laughs) with the old ones yeah we could probably make that work, depending yeah. on what we'll it is. We'll play some Cherry all together. We do have a 12-hour <laughs> stream coming up, all 5,000 minutes. We do. We have. We will be doing a marathon stream for Extra Life, uh, raising money to help sick kids help at children's the Children's Hospital. Oh, this counts? Yes. Specifically. Yeah, we will specifically right be yeah. Yeah, for our local Children's Hospital. And, yeah, that will be a gaming marathon, so we'll probably playing a mix of board games and video yep. games. We do not have our final game list yet. Or, time or, anything or the times quite yet. It's a couple. It's a month or two away. So. Well, it's, about um, a month it's, away. it's November 3rd, so it's it will be It'll coming be around that. It'll be around quick. that weekend. Um, yes. There are a couple options there. Yeah. We probably cannot do the full... 24 hour. The full marathon on that day, especially with the kids. So we'll be kind of splitting it up a little bit, but we'll be doing that, raising money. Um, for charity. Coming. 
yes, we will definitely be sharing more information. But if there are some games in particular that you would like to see us play, let us know in the comments, send us a message, and whether or not it makes it into its own dedicated, like, live playthrough that we do, like on Thursdays, for example, or we might be able to... Or make a big spinner. Or we might be able to do it on the marathon day. The spinner thing just eh, kind of gave me an idea, but I have to... Like a slider. I have to think on it more. Otherwise, I'll sit here for like 20 <laughs> minutes staring at you, like. And our brain's fried. As it's time. like gears are turning. <laughs> yeah. If you haven't seen the surprise announcement, we have our family game box that we will be launching. And so I was doing a lot of work on that today. So my brain's a little bit fried with some of the logistics and things behind the scenes that go into that and providing you with something amazing. But if you have not seen that, you can watch that video. Otherwise, I just told you it's coming. <laughs> is it on here? Yeah, Facebook version. It is. I did upload it on just the page. Just scroll down wherever you are. Uh, I guess. But to keep up to date on that, wherever the sign up button is, you can sign up for our email newsletter so that you can <laughs> stay up to date on it because we will be putting out some updates and things like that as that's getting ready to launch. And that will be. Exciting. It'd be exciting, and you'll be the first to know mm-hmm. those particular updates and any discounts or any of that kind of stuff. So, you know, sign up. Tuesday. No, Thursday. Thursday. Not yet. To be determined. <laughs> It'll, something will happen. Yes, this Thursday, I will be out of town at a conference. I'll be so running around here. Crazy. I'm just He will be holding down the fort, and so either. Yeah, something with the kids, it's a game, video game, or board game, or something about myself later in the evening. I don't know. Depends how everything works out. I guess. Yeah. So hopefully something. It should be something. Yes. I would imagine. Our daughter has already been like, oh, can we do it then since you're gone? Uh, next Tuesday, we are going to talk about how to start a family game night tradition. So... We'll be giving some tips and ideas on how to do that, if that is something that you have not done and you are looking at doing that. And It's a good way to send online yeah. and unplug. And mm-hmm. Yes. So these days. <laughs> yes. These days you need need downtime, and but good downtime. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we will be talking about that, about doing a family game night tradition and getting that going and then the following Thursday since I wrote it down I'm going to say we're going to do a (laughs) Forbidden Island redo because if you happened to have watched us last Thursday (laughs) we we didn't lose per se first we lost on a technicality because we missed an important rule that was making it Easier, yeah. And we already were, we're getting yeah, confused we're with the different and game. We were already down pretty bad. And we just were making we were it was yeah, just yes. fail. But then we were doing decent in the next. Like we we went to restart it. Mm-hmm. And we were doing decent, but we forgot a rule. I thought we lost, mm-hmm. and then I was double checking in the rule book. And, and I cleaned up like a good boy. <laughs> and then he picked everything up, which I wasn't even paying attention to the fact that he was doing that because it wasn't like I was like pause while I look. Yeah. I was just looking at the rules more closely at that point because I'm like something was. It feels not... like we, it feels like it's impossible to win after. Like, yeah. How would you? How would you win I was this like, game? This is not matching with what I remember about yeah. the game, and I'm like something is wrong. Well, we could have continued mm-hmm. the game. We could have shuffled the discard, which we thought we could not do. But since he had picked it all up, we couldn't finish the game. And then I was... We're going to do it again. I was done yeah. at that point anyway. Makes for a good video. <laughs> it was definitely a fail. <laughs> but I had originally on the schedule for next week to be Forbidden Desert. And I'm like, we should redo Forbidden yeah. Island first before we move on to the desert. Because that one's a little tougher. So we're going to have a redo on that. Yes. We'll win <laughs> and play it correctly. We will not show you the wrong way to play this time. No. We did teach you how not to play it. We did. 
And the problems come in when you mix, play too many different games, and you're like, well, there isn't this one. Yeah, I and mean, it's a sim- well because it's the same designer, so it has a similar style she to a, a different, different one. <laughs> Hmm? Just a little bit different. Just a little different. So I was getting some things crossed on how that worked. It's fun. You should watch it. At least watch the YouTube video. It's more condensed. Yeah, I, I trimmed that down a bit and just kind of shared more of the entertaining parts and the teachable moments of what went wrong. Yeah, the postmortem of what we did. Yeah. So what all went wrong. We, yeah, it's not as long as the live was. It's it's a shorter video, so. All right, so, so we'll see you Thursday sometime, after probably after five or five or six our time, yes. at the earliest, so. which is central. Yes. So, thanks so much for watching, Thank you. and we will see you at the next game.